Johnny is um, a guest that's going to be, um, he's touring right now, and he's going to be uh, at um, Lions Bay House Concert tonight in North Vancouver, British Columbia. And then uh, tomorrow night, he'll be a guest at uh, Conway Muse out here in Conway, just about 10, 15 minutes from us here at the studio. What time does that show start? I looked at it, and then I forgot it. Is it 7.30, 8 o'clock? I think it's 7.30. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. Okay, that sounds great. So, um, I think, and looking back over your background, if I remember right, you're from Mississippi. That's that's right. Sure am. <laughs> Chicago blues artist via yeah, uh, the, Mississippi. The only difference from the classic uh, Muddy Waters bio is that I went to <laughs> Chicago to go to college. So, <laughs> so that's kind of a difference, but, uh, you know... It's the same bio as a guy like Alvin Bishop or something like that. Too. Absolutely, yeah. And um, another one that jumps out at mine is, is Steve Forbert, and um, he's from Meridian. And um, uh, I, I interviewed him a few years ago. Really, oh, really cool. nice fellow. Yeah, he lives in. He moved to Nashville now, but he's been all over the place. So, um, but you consider yourself a Chicago blues artist? Yeah, that's where I really learned and went to the University of the Blues. Good for and, you. Uh, you know, every day was like Christmas back then in, in the 90s, and there were tons of great blues artists that were still alive. Right. And uh, I got a chance to go on the road with Sam Lay for a couple of years. Oh, did you really? Yeah, and that kind of, I came in at one level, and I came out, like, much higher. And I knew the minute I played with him, it was going to take me a few years just, you know, just to feel like I was doing a good job, really. I think Muddy Waters was still alive when you moved up there, too, wasn't he? He, he died in 84. In 84, okay. So I missed Muddy Waters. I, I missed Eddie Taylor, one of my heroes. He died in 86. Eddie Taylor, wow. And I got there in 88. But I still saw lots of people. I played bass with Big Smokey Smothers, who was a Incredible. really cool, uh, kind of a Jimmy Reed, Muddy Waters-style musician. And his brother, Little Smokey, played like Albert King and, and Little Milton. So that's like... That's a lot of blues right there, and I used to go see them all the time and just sit there and watch them. And they'd play something and look like, did you catch that, you know? So that's, it was just, you know, watch and learn, watch and learn, watch and learn. Incredible. Um, did you come from a musical family? A, a bit. My, my, my dad was an actor, and he was a kind of folky. Um, he did some tours playing folk music, and, but the theater was really his, his love. I understand that. That's great. Right. Yeah, that's great. Um, and you're on tour right now. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in November. <laughs> oh, you will be? That's yeah. great. You were, I mean, in, you were in Summerlin, I think I read on your website last night. How was that gig? Was it, oh, it was fine, yeah. It was it's really a small nice. town. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was nice Nice people. And, and um, Chris and I played with, with the drummer Glenn Hummel and his guitarist Brian Oliver. They have a band called Boogie Chillin', so they... They featured us. It's great. Yeah. But yeah, this is like a six month long trip. There yeah. are a series of trips that are kind of glued together, and then I'll be back in the Northwest. That sounds by great. November. That sounds great. Where are you living now? Portland, Oregon, and my bass player here is in uh, LA. Chris from LA, yeah. And then you've got a, another fellow, uh, is his name Joe, that's going to be joining you this evening, or Ed, is it? I can yeah, remember. Eddie Kobach. Um, Eddie Kobach. And you know, I, I Eddie is from South Bend, Indiana, but he, he lives in Olympia now. So oh, wow. he's my drummer when I'm in the Northwest. And, uh, <laughs> That's great. And he does a wonderful job. Uh, I met him in the early 90s, and he started booking and playing with Pine Top Perkins, and that's how I got the tour with Pine Top Perkins. I read that on your website. Yeah, that's incredible, Pine Top Perkins. Yeah, yeah. he really... He what really a musician. Uh, yeah. He pretty much did the exact same show every night, and, and, and he played things more or less the same way, but that's because it was perfect. It was like it was like water running over a stone until it's perfectly smooth, you know? Right. He knew exactly like where everything went. You know, he never, it was never like he was repeating himself. He, One of the most respected uh, guitar players in the business. I mean, just incredible, you know? Um, I'm, I'm happy about that for you, <laughs> you know? Um, Talk about little towns. Wait till you get to Conway tomorrow evening. Oh yeah, you know little towns are my favorite places to play, because it's so much fun when the whole town comes and they're like, "Thanks for coming to our town." You know, we really needed to hear some music like this and that kind of thing. I mean, 
that's more gratifying to me than than being one of you know 150 options all of whom are special and unique in their own way in New York City or Copenhagen or something although, right although it, it is fun to go to those places and there's some there's good fans there but I love playing the little towns yeah, it's good. You'll, <coughs> you'll like this one because there must be about seven houses in it. And then there's mm -hmm. this huge barn that the owner, Alpha Gisla, has turned into a, um, you know, a venue. And um, uh, she runs a good show out there. You'll have a lot of fun out there. Yeah, on. it's intimate. And, um, you know, it's, that's the kind of setting I really shine. Oh, I mean, you'll this have is, fun. This is not an arena show with lasers and pyro. You know, this is, a, <laughs> this is an intimate, emotional it, it really is. That it's an old it, barn. And yeah. when I came out there last week, one of my guests that I had uh, on Thursday of last week was John Nemeth from um, Memphis. And as I came into the parking lot, she had this huge hayloft door open. And it was raining outside, but you could just hear the music booming out through that door. And uh, I suspect you'll be experiencing the same thing. You know, it's, uh, uh, it's a great place. We're, we're real lucky. We've got some real good venues around here. We really do. And... Um, um, so, Chris, you're um, you're just wrong for just this portion of the of the gig. Well, we're working our way across the next three weeks to Chicago. Oh, you are. You're heading across the, the western part of the United States. Then. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, kind of one night in our way uh, to Chicago and and arriving at the Chicago Blues Festival. Oh, that'll be great. <laughs> yeah, nice way to wrap a trip up. Yeah, absolutely, no question about it. Oh, I'm I'm excited for you guys. I really am, and I'm thrilled that you came in, Johnny. I really am. It's my pleasure. Um, you feel like doing a song for us, real quick? Well, are you in, we... are you in business over here? <laughs> I think I will be. And you guys can grab these two microphones. They're both hot, and just point them whichever way you want. You know where you are. Ah. What do you want to do for us first? Do you want to see if this will go in? Let's right, go ahead. Here you go. Well, you know, I, I have a I have a live record that's going to come out on Delmark. I did not. I have your latest yeah. album, this uh, Dos Ombres, which I like a lot. Great. Thank you. So this live one will be out in September, and it's going to be out on vinyl, and. And CD. Put me down for the vinyl. Okay, you know. yeah. <laughs> Love to have it. Really and would. It, uh, Charlie Musselwhite played on a few songs. And, Charlie Musselwhite. And uh, Ray Gordon, who you might know. I know, I know who Ray Gordon is, too. That's and great. My usual wrecking crew of uh, Kid Anderson, Nancy Wright, the saxophone player, and uh, Aki Kumar is on it. Sounds and, great. And of course, Chris and my. Uh, Road drummer from Chicago came out, Steve Doherty. Sounds good. So I'll do one song and then maybe we can play something or play something, play something from the CD. Is that, is that okay? Absolutely, absolutely. Can... Do you want do you want that other mic pulled down towards your guitar or towards the amp? There, it's up to you. Or Chris, are you going to sing? Yeah, <laughs> not today. <laughs> That's great. There okay. we go. I went down to Santa Cruz Stared out at sea I went down to Santa Cruz Stared down at sea I was worried and crying When the world's going to be humming When I left Chicago I headed for the Frisco Bay When I left Chicago That really loved to play. I roamed from Sacramento down to San Jose. Yeah, I roamed from Sacramento down. 
down to San Jose, the California women help me on my way. This one is going to be on your new CD that's coming out? It is. Okay. Sure is. And that'll be out this fall. Do you have a title for that one yet? For the CD? I yep. think it's just going to be called Johnny Bergen Live. Um, I recorded it in Cotati, California. It might be called Live in Sonoma or Live or Sounds great. Live in California. Sounds great. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's what um, want to do. I want you to tell me, too, a little bit. I really like your current album, which hasn't been out very long, as I understand it. Uh, yeah, since uh, February. Yeah, Dos Hombres. Yeah. And um, I have not heard of before the guy who uh, plays harmonica on that CD with you. Uh, does he pronounce his name Kike? Right, like Enrique. Yeah, that's what I thought. Perfect. That's right. what I thought. Uh, Kike Gomez. And um, and he sings a little bit, too. On there. Yeah, I yeah, he sings about right. half of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a heck of a singer. I, it, this is a really good record. And it, it, it is it, an excellent record, It's doing well. Johnny. Yeah. I mean, it, it was like number 13 on the Living Blues charts. And number, it hit number 9 on the Roots Music Report um, for, for the blues, so... That's I'm happy with that, you know. I mean, I've done a lot worse than that, so. Uh, <laughs> it's and, uh, Ki terrific. Kike's done a great job of bringing um, traditional blues artists to Spain. Yeah, and, I was uh, just going to ask you if he was Spanish or if, if he might have been from Mexico. I wasn't sure. Yeah, which. yeah he's from Madrid. Oh, he is. Yeah, and I've I've toured in Spain with him many times, and I'll be playing with him in in June and July, and I'll be in I'll be in Spain. He, oh, that's fantastic. He, he's a very talented guy, you know. Yeah. And um, this album has only been out since February, uh, but it's available everywhere, I assume, all the different outlets, Amazon. I know yeah. iTunes and all that is there. You know, yeah, it's, it's on Vistone. CD Baby, all that. Yeah, Vistone, big Which, album, and, big and, label. And, and Vistone has got um, actual like physical distribution, so you can buy it in a record store. Perfect. Sounds if you are so inclined, <laughs> you can... Um, Especially the vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> or is there yeah. vinyl on There's this There's no one? vinyl on, on, on this those hombres, but... Yeah, uh, but the next one will. The next one, I'm going to have vinyl. Please save me one. I'll, I'll, I'd yeah, like to have the vinyl version. Of Thank it. you. I'm starting to... Can you to, play vinyl on, on the stage? I can. Room? I've got two of them um, over here. And you know, I haven't played any vinyl since I sold my record player about 35 or 40 years ago. Yeah. 
And some of the artists have been coming in, have been labeling with, with vinyls, and, it, and I, it's opened a whole new world for me. I, I didn't care anything about it, and now I'm really getting into it again. So yeah, I'll, I'll play your vinyl okay. when, you, when, you, right. when you get it to That's me. Um, my special guest today is Rockin' Johnny Bergen, and um, he will be tonight at Lions Bay at a house concert there in North Vancouver, British Columbia. And then tomorrow night at 7.30, he will be at Conway Muse. It should be an excellent show out there at um, Alpha Bergen's uh, place, uh, Alpha Giesel's place out there. So um, if you have time, I, I hope there'll be some tickets available for you <laughs> to go see it. And I should mention, uh, if I've got a complete tour itinerary on johnnybergen.com. And thank you, thank you for spelling that. That's because it, it, it looked almost French, and I thought, well, it might be Bergen. I wasn't yeah, sure how you no pronounce problem. that. And I made the mistake, Johnny. I interviewed a few years ago uh, Susan Tedeschi with the Tedeschi Trucks Band, and on the air before asking her, I pronounced it Tedeschi. And uh, at the break, she quickly corrected me. Although they were two of the nicest, her and her husband Derek Trucks were two of the nicest human beings I've ever met in my life. They were just, just sweet, sweet people. You want to do another song, or do you want me to play it off of the? Let's do some off the CD, and then maybe I okay. can get Chris going. So that'd can play that'd be great. What I uh, is this okay? I've got it, um, um, your charm won't help you. Go How's for that it. sound? Go for it. Okay, let's do that. Get you out of here on time because I know you've got a yeah. tight schedule. Thanks. Was the traffic as bad as I told you it was going to be? Well, we were just coming from we were coming from Everett, so it wasn't. It was a little bad, but it wasn't. Whoa, that's good. And we'll, I, I think we're going to that Boeing plane. Oh, yeah. it's, it's like from downtown oh, Seattle and Everett, you know. Marysville yeah, before that's even worse. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, that's tough, right? Yeah. And when we get done talking, I'd like to play a third song, if that's okay with you. And would you like to pick one out that you'd like to have on there? Oh, what about some first one? Uh, Unless you brought another CD that you want to play on. You're trying to fool me, and then you try to change the rules. Bag of tricks. <laughs> you tried to fool me, then you tried to change the rules. Oh, you know what's a cool song? If you think I'm gonna stay around for that, the jinx is really trippy. Then you man. better go yeah. back to the Yeah. Okay, you got it. No, I'm gonna leave you with. I'm gonna leave you with one when I go out to the car. I'll leave you with a, a CD I did called. Uh, Love to have it. it. For the world. Love to have it. Thank you so much. Sure. So the Jinx is the next one you'd like to play. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna do the Mooney for a pick. I've got it right here. Oh yeah, I got one. Got one. Yeah. I'm so happy we got all the sound on you. I'm just thrilled both of you came. I really am. Sure, just man. thrilled to death to have you here. How long have you had your show? Well, I've been here about two and a half, almost three, about actually three years, and then I was nine and a half uh, years on uh, KMCI in Tucson as a drive time morning DJ there from 5 to 7 a.m. Oh, we just played in Tucson? Yeah, we're, and a half ago. Where'd so. you play at Congress, Rialto, uh, uh, Firefly? There's several good venues there. The charm has faded. Oh, does the one overpower the other one? Yeah, the one might overpower the other one, so you may be slow on it. That's all right. You know, I'll get you out there. Keep smiling in my face. But you know you're not yeah, my friend. Yeah, you're the one from Nags, that's right. You were so forgotten. Nah, we're out of luck, I think. Scale, right that's all right, man. That's all right, you do your thing, so... You want to do the jinx? By recording, or you want to play it? Oh, why don't you play it on the record, on the recording, and then, then I'll come back and play something. Is that all right? Absolutely. Right. You got enough time? Yeah, man. Okay. You want me to play it up right next? Sure. We'll do that. Hey, man. Do you want me to just get your? 
Thanks for taking so much time, you guys. I know you're on a, you know, I, and I know your gig's really not till tomorrow night, so it was nice of you to accommodate. Oh you know, no, sure. I'm, this is a perfect. I really appreciate. And I hope you'll come back too. You know, you know the door's always open. Uh, that was two songs in a row from my special guest today, Rockin' Johnny Bergen. And that's from his latest album, which just came out in February, called Dos Hombres Wanted, uh, with he and uh, harmonica player T.K. Gomez. And uh, the first song was um, Your, Charm, Your won't Charm Won't Help You. That's what it is. And then the second song was called Jinx. And Johnny tells me he's got a live album that's coming out in the fall, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, He's on tour, and tonight he will be at um, in North Vancouver, British Columbia, at Lions Bay, which is a house concert. Uh, I'm on their list. Those are nice people, by the way, up there at Lions Bay. Uh, they, they, they just have some good talent, and they, they handle their business very professionally. I hope you have a good they time do. up there. They write a good border letter. They do, don't they? Yes, yeah, for sure. And then uh, he'll be back down here in uh, the Mount Vernon area uh, tomorrow uh, night at 7.30 p.m. He'll be playing at Conway Muse here in Conway, Washington, which is about 15 minutes from the studio. Uh, should be a great show. Um, I've got you on a schedule, and I know you got to get out and cross the border at the Peace Arch, so um, you're on tour, uh, and I think Chris said a little bit ago you're going to end up in Chicago for the Chicago Blues Festival in June? Correct. And on the way, we're going to hit Moorhead, Minnesota, and St. Paul, Milwaukee. then Madison, Milwaukee, and then Chicago, and we've got a bunch of dates around in the suburbs and around Chicago, and then I'm... I'm heading off to uh, Spain and the UK. And That'll come, be fun. And I'll come back to the Midwest, and got about three weeks there, and then going back to back to Europe, and then coming back, and I'll be on the East Coast and in the Southeast, and then work my way back to Portland by the first weekend of November. So. You're a bit of a vagabond, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you live out of a suitcase most of the really time. Much, yeah. yeah, it's great. Um, let's get you one more live song in here right. if you don't care and then I'll get you guys out the door Chris thanks for you coming too I please my guest star uh, this today's show is Rockin' Johnny Bergen um, his current album is uh, Dos Hombres Wanted by the way I, I hope you're gonna do some gigs in Spain with Kike Gomez oh you? absolutely yeah oh that sounds good um, that sounds great and also we're, I'm, I'm playing a big festival with Billy Boy Arnold are you really? Yeah, and um, I'm doing some things with a, a singer named Tail Dragger, who uh, is a Halloween style singer. He's the first guy to ever hire me, and we've always had a, we've always kept that uh, relationship. He's a great blues singer. He sings like Howlin' Wolf, wow. and he, he was mentored by Howlin' Wolf because this kind of music is sort of a. It's often learned. It, it's best learned by men mentorship, you know. Right. Rather than YouTube, you know? Yeah. <laughs> YouTube, you can play the blues. Yeah, it's just right. right here on a YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. In, in two weeks or less, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. What are you going to do on uh, on your song going out the door here? And then I'm going to let you uh, head for the Peace Arch up there to cross All the right. border. What's the last song today? Uh, this is a song I'm off my last CD, which is called Neoprene Fedora, which I'll leave you with. It's almost, it's practically a story record. It, kind of tells the story of me leaving Chicago and moving out to the West Coast. And that's what the title means. Neo, you know, neoprene is like surfing and it kind of connotes the Pacific Coast, you know, and uh, Fedora is kind of Chicago. So then I've got a song in there called Teddy Bear and I'm, I'll, I'll do a bit of Teddy Bear. Sounds great. Johnny, Chris, please come back to see me. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join me on the show today. Safe travels. Thank you.
Let me be. Let me be your teddy bear. Let me be. Let me be your teddy bear. Put a chain around my neck and leave me in a way. You told me that you loved me, told me a lie. I love you, baby, till the day I die. Let me be, let me be your teddy bear. Put a chain around my neck and leave me in a way. You love me, you told me a lie. I love you, baby, till the day I die. Let me be, let me be your teddy bear. Put a chain around my neck and lead me in a way.